First off, I need you to get this thing right and this will make your life so much more easier. If you don't, in no time you'll be brain scratching and head knocking and your life will become so much more frustrating. So you better get this right in the first place. Hey there, this is Inmesh and today we are going to learn how to organize and import your images in Lightroom. Now, don't get me wrong, this is the most essential part in Lightroom. Most people get wrong here and if you get this thing wrong, you're going to have a lot of errors and irritations later. You see, what is outside Lightroom is equally important to what is inside Lightroom, what you do inside of Lightroom. Because unlike Photoshop, Lightroom doesn't create its own file. All the adjustments that you make to an image is linked. We'll get to that in a minute. Before that, let's get started. Only if you're using a PC that has terabytes of space, then I, I kinda can recommend you copying your images directly to your PC. But trust me, one or two years down the line, even your PC will get filled up and transferring those terabytes of images that you've gathered all through the years to external hard drives is going to be a lot of pain. So better get this thing right from the start. So first what you gotta do, you need to take your memory card from your phone or camera or any device with which you click picture and then connect that to your computer and then copy the image to your external hard drive and make sure that all the images are in one folder. From now on, you will use this folder for all your images. Yes, you can have subfolders like travel, landscapes, portraits, street photography, a family, trip, business, whatever, you can have subfolders. Just make sure that all the images are inside that photos folder or my photos fol folder or whatever you name it. Just make sure that. So here's my card. It has all the images from my previous trip. What I'm going to do, I'm going to insert that into my laptop. If you're using a mobile device or any other point and shoot cameras that connect directly to your computer, connect that via the connector that you have been given. Now, as you can see, my hard drive is also connected and my SDHC card is also connected. So I'll simply open it and open the folder and just let's open one of the folders and copy all the images. Okay, copy it and go to your hard drive and make one folder called photos or my pictures or whatever you want. Make that folder and make sure all the images that you have either in your computer, either anywhere in your pen drive or whatever, just put that in this folder. It needs to be organized because that will prevent Lightroom to create errors. Now, just make sure the folder is open. Now, let's let's create a, a subfolder. Let's name it Mount Abu because this is the, the these are the pictures from the trip to Mount Abu. So I'll just open this folder and paste it simply. If you do this, what will happen is one, you're going to have a peace of mind. Say one or two months from now, you'll be wondering, okay, where are those pictures from Mount Abu? There they are, you've placed it correctly. And two, it's going to be a lot more easier to edit in Lightroom. I think it's copied, so let's uh, get back to Lightroom. Now it's time to open Lightroom once it's organized. And as you can see, the images are now copied. Now what you gotta do, disconnect the memory card. Done, eject it first, okay, to be safe. Now let's open Lightroom. So let's open Lightroom. Ah, what a beautiful image. I just put it to show off. Okay, so to import, what you gotta do, make sure that the library module is clicked. Okay, so these are the modules that we are going to have in Lightroom, library, develop, map, book, slideshow. And in this series, what are we working with? We would be working with just two modules and the most important modules are library and develop. Okay, so in the library module, click import to import your images. Also, there's a shortcut, Control Shift I. If you're using a Mac, it's Command Shift I. So let's just use uh, use the shortcut, and when you press the shortcut, this kind of uh, window will show up. Now it says select a source. Select a source. Where is the image? It's in my hard drive in that folder. So it's in my hard drive with Mishinda too, right? It's in the folder photos. Let's open that. It's in the folder Mount Abu. Let's click it and it will load up the images. Now, all you gotta do simply click import and your images will be racing into Lightroom. Just as a side note, make sure that when you're importing this text called add, it's highlighted. None of the other should be highlighted. That's going to be a mistake. Okay, so 
By default, ad is already highlighted, but for some reason you might have changed it before, make sure you select ad again. Just a quick recap, number one, use external hard drives. If you have a lot of space, a lot of terabytes in your PC, then okay, but I still highly recommend you using external hard drives like these. See, any good brand will do, but if you're still looking for suggestions, I have some of them in the description below. Number two, organize your images. Make sure you put all your images inside one folder. Then you can go ahead and put them into subfolders depending on the category of images. Number three, open Lightroom, import your images, click on the import or press Control shift i or Command shift i if you're using a Mac and then your images are ready to be edited. So this was the most basic setup that you need to do before using Lightroom. I know for most of you organizing things is just ah, uh, but some of my friends actually love this. They, they have a blast organizing images. Anyway, either way, you got to do this because this is important. So guys, that's all for today. See you in my next one. Till then, keep creating and stay tuned.